Hi there, my name is Sarah Hunt and I'm the product manager for Adobe Edge Animate. Today I want to tell you about what you can find in this latest version of Animate, which is jam-packed with features to make it easier for you to create and publish projects to the web, all available with your Creative Cloud membership. In this new version, we've revolutionized the way you create movement with the addition of, and Animate fans, you've been waiting a long time for this, motion paths. No longer are you confined to linear movements and you can now create fluid transitions on a custom curved path. Let me show you how it works. To create a motion path, create two location keyframes on the timeline or use the pin. Select motion paths in the properties panel. Also, if you want to use motion paths as a default for all new transitions, go ahead and select motion paths from the layouts default. Now I'm going to drag this object out and a blue line will be created between the start and the end points. I've just made a motion path. A triangle will point in the direction of your motion. To add anchors to your path, hover over the path and the icon will change to the Add Anchor cursor. Just click to add an anchor and drag it out to edit the curve. You also have the ability to auto-orient your object by checking Auto-Orient in the Properties panel. This will allow you to easily control the direction your elements face. In this example, I want my bird to always face the direction he's flying in. By adjusting the rotation so his beak is aligned with the path and selecting auto-orient, he now continuously faces forward in flight. Now motion paths is a tough act to follow, but there's other great things in this release which will significantly help your day-to-day -day creation process. The next thing I want to show you is the introduction of templates. With templates you can create, save, reuse, and easily distribute pre-made animate compositions. Create a template and reuse as a starter for mobile projects, photo galleries, banner ads, or anything else that you can think of. Let me show you how they work. Templates are stored in the template gallery, available from the file menu. Inside of the template gallery, you can select which template you want to use, import other templates, or go ahead and delete templates that you don't need to use anymore. You can collect anything you want to reuse in a template, including symbols, images, fonts, and custom scripts. Animate will automatically grab any files living beside your Animate project on the file system and include them in the template. Templates can also be easily distributed and shared just as you would a zip file. We've also made some improvements to the way you publish projects. We've introduced a feature to have the Animate runtime file hosted on our Adobe Content Delivery Network, powered by Akamai, so your projects download faster with the benefit of cache hosting at absolutely no cost to you. This option is on by default for new project and requires a live internet connection for your web projects, so if you need your project to run offline or want to use your own hosting, just uncheck this in the Publish options. There's tons of other great improvements in this new version of Animate, including swipe gesture support for mobile focused projects, color coding of elements, and a fancy new eyedropper tool to easily grab colors from your stage. This new version of Edge Animate is available with your Creative Cloud membership from creative.adobe.com. Go get it to check out all the great new ways you can be visually creative with Adobe Edge Animate.